Afternoon ladies and gents, um, this uh, quick card, I'm in the process of making it, I've already cut everything that I need to cut and I've already stamped everything that I need to stamp, but I just thought I would come on very quickly and bring you along for the ride. <laughs> um, I know it's a Sunday and I know you're all probably busy and have family down and all. This week I do not have my family, my daughters or grandchildren here so I had a bit of spare time and it was needed because um, I had to get this done for the friend. So just going to do a bit of heat embossing. So I'm just using my, look at the state of it, <laughs> I need to get a new one. Ah, but it still works. So I'm just applying this over the Star of Light stamp. I have brought the stamp sets in with me, I'll show you in a minute. I'm just going to stamp it once on there. And I am putting some pressure on that because, as I say, that's a really old um, pad. <laughs> Oops. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't even see if it's worked or not. <laughs> so let me try it on this one. I'll have to see if my other one's working well wet enough well no soon enough so I hope you are having a lovely weekend um, wherever you are or whatever you're doing over here it is really stormy and um, we seem to be getting one storm after another coming in from over the mountains I don't know if yous are getting the same wherever you are but I hope everyone's well I keep my embossing powders Oops in these tubs it just makes it easier for me and it makes it cleaner for me as well <laughs> especially when the grandkids are here and I am doing something let's just see if this has worked seems to be all right let's have a look at the other one because I didn't even uh, use me embossing buddy uh, <laughs> I've been working on something else and um, but I will show you in another video and um, because it is non SU related um, where does this I have used SU products ok that'll do right let me put that out the road because otherwise I'll end up blowing it everywhere <laughs> and I want to use it again ok so these are two panels and this is our heat tool. Now the thing I love about our Stampin' Up heat tool is if you notice it's got two heat settings. One you can use for when you've watercoloured or 
you want to dry ink in a hurry and the second one is for your heat embossing. So I'm going to put it on now so if you've got the volume up loud turn it down now. Not that it's very loud this one actually. Just let me heat up a little bit. I'm just coming in now. And I've just used our gold embossing powder. Okay, that's that one done. Just going to turn it over and give it a blast on the back just to flatten it back out again. Okay. I think I've missed a little bit there. Oops. Just there. That's it. <laughs> And I'll show you something now that proves just how hot your embossing tool gets. Okay, and I'm going to do the same, flip it over and just give it a whack off the back. Turn that off for a minute. That's how hot your embossing tool gets. <laughs> it's melted me paintbrush. <laughs> okay, so there's them two panels done. I know you can't see it because it's like gold on so saffron. Um, now I'm going to do the same on. Uh, I think this is Lost Lagoon. In fact, I'm almost positive this is Lost Lagoon. Okay, and I'm just going to use the same stamp and the same ink pad and let's get some good. And I must order a new one, a new face of mark. Um, let me just see. And that will do there. We have another storm coming in at the minute. That's why I wanted to bring you along with this one because I have a funny feeling the electricity is going to go out at some point today. So. This will be my bonus card if I don't manage to get one up tomorrow. Because <laughs> you wouldn't believe me, but I mean, I moved over to Northern Ireland 14, coming up on 15 years ago. Um, and they are so behind the times. Like, you don't have gas in your house, there's only certain areas that actually has gas. Um, obviously you'd have electricity. If I want a gas cooker, I have to buy one that uses, you know, like the old Caligas bottles? Uh-huh. So, yeah. It was a big culture shock when I first moved over here. But, like... I suppose in another aspect I can understand why. <laughs> I'm not going to get into politics, but there you go. Okay, I'm happy with that one. This box idea just cuts out all the mess of it going everywhere. And believe me, I can make a mess like the best of us. <laughs> I 
and this is a card for a young lady um, and it's well you should have guessed it by the colours okay the heating's going to go back on the uh, the heat gun's going to go back on now so Now I've got it on the highest setting. And I don't really want to be keeping it too long because I don't want it to dry the paper out and warp it. So I'm trying not to keep it in the same spot for too long. You cannot do this with a hair dryer. It has to be a special tool. And the one that I'm using from Stampin' Up is actually really good value compared to the ones on the market that only have one heat setting and really only do one job. <laughs> Okay, so that's me finished with our heat gun again. It's the Stampin' Up one, and again, you have the dual heat settings. One you would use for drying watercolour in and inking, um, and the second one you would use for your heat embossing. Okay, so that's me finished with that now. Just put that down there out my road. I'm going to let these settle and I'm going to bring in the base of my card and I know you are all itching to find out what it is <laughs> right I'm not showing you the belly band because you'll definitely get it right this is the card I've been working on <laughs> so your base card is going to be I have done, made this card before if you want to look back in my videos it's entirely up to you but your base card which is this white is cut at 10 lengthways by 8 widthways um, on the long side you're going to score it at 2, 3.5, 6.5 and 8 is the rain I hope you don't get cut off um, and on the short side, you're going to cut it at one and a half, score it, sorry, at one and a half and six and three quarters. Okay. Then at the top and bottom, you're going to notch it because we know it's ten inches in length. You're going to notch it at five inches, which is exactly half. Okay. Then you're going to come in with your ruler. I haven't got mine in here with me. And you're going to score from the notch you made to that corner there. Okay, so it's going to go diagonally. And you're going to do it on both sides. And then you're going to do it on the bottom as well. Okay. Then your score lines. What you're going to do is, I'll take this out the middle. You're going to fold the first one in. And your second one out. You're going to fold it back on itself. So you fold the first one in and then flip the second one over like that and have that one facing out. You're going to cut, see the first square? You're going to cut that away, this one here, what would have been here. You're going to cut that one away, okay, and you're going to cut up the second one. So you cut the first one away, then you cut up and you notch out just a slither, if you can see that, on the second one, right? So then you fold your top and bottom and you fold it up, like that, and then you fold on them diagonal lines so it comes down like that. And you do that to the top and you do it to the bottom. Okay, you bring it up and you fold it on the diagonal lines like that. Okay, 
Right, now we're going to put this together. So on these four tabs, them two there and them two there, you're going to put your glue. Um, and for just for quickness, I am going to use my turning tape. She says for quickness. <laughs> you all know me and tape. And you're going to put it on this side. And you're going to do that on all four. Look, I told you, me and tape. Me and any sticky stuff. I've yet to find one on the market. <laughs> I mean, you can use wet glue by all means. I just haven't got time for this video because you would have to start using pegs and things to hold it in place and then try and work on it. And no, <laughs> we want this to be a quick video because it's a bonus one. Because I was working on something else this morning and I thought, hmm. And I'd been asked to make this anyway, so because it's going along with what I was working on this morning. So there you go. Right now to get this tape off the backing off. I'm using my pokey tool. So what you're going to do with them tabs now that you've took your tape off, you're going to lift it up and you're going to stick it onto that one. Okay, lift it up, make sure you've got your corners in tight against, against them folds and stick it. Okay, so you're left with something like that and I'll just do the bottom ones. show you the stamps I've used in a minute. So get it tight in that corner and stick it down. Tight in that corner and stick it down. Okay, so now we have something a good squash that looks like that okay now this is where your panels come into play so the yellow panels that we've just heat embossed they measure um let me just see two and three quarters no it's not it's one and three quarters by five and two eighths and they're going to go on there okay the blue ones that we've done Lost Lagoon they are one quarter by five and two eighths and I should have put them in before I've done my card but they're going to just slide in there and give you a bit of a border so I'll have to put them in with wet glue now okay and your back panel that's going in the back, I've done my layers. So this measures, the first layer measures two and three quarters by five and two eighths. And that goes in the back there. Then your second layer measures two and seven eighths by five. And that will go on top of that. With a little board around. Okay, so I'll get to gluing these in now. Seems I've made a boo-boo. <laughs> I should have put these on before I actually stuck it down, but never mind. You can always figure out a way where there's a will. And 
don't go too close to your edges. Uh, knocking everything over now. See me and glue shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> So you can stick yours down before you actually construct your box. It would be much easier for you. <laughs> much easier. Although that's not gone in too bad. Have you all got it yet? What I'm actually making? Huh? You will have in a minute if you haven't already. Just straighten that up a bit. I don't know what he's watching, don't ask me. He's just put the TV on. I swear he's going deaf. Right, so the stamp sets I've used is the hang on a minute. <laughs> I can hear that in here. Yes. Sorry about that. Yes, getting back. <laughs> I've used the Star of Light, as you know. Um, be better if I pick them up, wouldn't it? So I've used the Star of Light, and I used this big, lovely swale out of that one. Okay, that's all I've used out of that one, so that can go back on my shelf. I've used the Brushworks Alphabet, which is this one, and you get 65 stamps in there. And I absolutely love it. It's well worth the purchase. Well worth it. And I've used the Graceful Garden, and I've used this rose here. Okay, that's all I've used. That's the only stamps I've used. Is them ones. Now I'm just going to put that aside and I'm going to layer this on top of there. Now to colour this rose in, well I'll show you when I it, put, turn it back over. What I actually done was put it on my stamp block and the rose part I used my real red ink and covered the top part in that and then the stem part I use my Emerald Envy um, on the same stamp at the same time. You don't want to do it one part and then go in and do the other part because you'll never get it lined up again because it's a red rubber stamp. So what I actually done is I took my stamp okay, and I put my ink pad, my red one, up to there, okay, and then I took my Emerald Envy one and put it up to there from the bottom, okay, now you can see if I point it out to you, but you wouldn't have noticed if I don't point it out to you, see where I've actually misstamped there, because I didn't want to go too far down with the red. Okay, so you can see that I've used the two colours on the one stamp. And then I used my watercolour pencils to colour it in. I did want that to be a deeper red, but hey-ho. So that's coloured in. Then I cut myself out three 
of the hearts. Um, sweet and sassy, I think they are. Um, die cuts. And I'm going to use my tiny dimensionals. Have you guessed what it is yet? If I showed you the belly band, would you know what it was? Would you? <laughs> Harmony plays a brilliant part in it, I have to say. You've got to have guessed it by now. If I showed you that. <laughs> You've got it now, haven't you? Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> and these are going to be our little petals that have fell off. Because he's running out of time. Okay, put my glue on the back, again staying away from the edges. So we're just going to slot that in. And then I can wiggle it about a little bit because I have a little mini for for that glue grabs. So yeah, Beauty and the Beast. That's what we're at at the mini. Okay, in the centre of this rose, I am going to put a diamante just in the top there. Okay, so when that closes in, all that is hidden, and then we have our belly band, which simply says, Tale as old as time. And I know the little girl who's going to get this is going to absolutely adore it because she absolutely loves Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> so I'm just going to take and get them. Take a couple of glue dots, I think, be easier for me. And I promise I will come on and I will show you what I was working on this morning. But I am telling you, it is not Stampin' Up! related as I have used no Stampin' Up! products on it whatsoever. But it was by request, so I've done it <laughs> for a friend. Because she's seen them on a well well known site and she wasn't prepared to pay and I've gone too far over with them glue dots. Um she wasn't prepared to pay the prices that they were asking for. Um not for the little girl's bedroom anyway. Hold these glue dots over on themselves and hopefully we can manage there we go I can always put something on there so there we go Taylor's oldest hair so she'll get this she'll slide off the belly band I will put other bits on there and there's her Enchanted Rose. So I hope you give that a go. And let me see what you come up with. Um, so thanks for joining me for the ride. Um, I hope you're safe. And not as wet where you are. <laughs> and I'll speak to you all through the week. So take care for now. Bye.